One of the areas that you can really shine as a first baseman is being able to pick short hops that are thrown to you from your infielders. I'm Randy Fearball with InsideBaseball.com and we're going to show you some of the drills that you can do to work on that. What we're going to work on today, and it's a drill that you can work on at any time, is how do we scoop the ball and, and save not, possibly an out, uh, but more importantly, making sure that the ball doesn't get by us and give this runner an opportunity of getting one base, maybe two bases, okay? So we're going to talk about how to scoop or pick the balls that are thrown to you from the infielders. You know, as we've stated before in some of our, our earlier drills, one of the most important things that for the first baseman is to keep the ball in front of him and to always anticipate the bad throw. So as a first baseman, some of the things that I have to know is who my infielders are, what their throwing capabilities are. Are they able to throw it here? Uh, is the shortstop able to throw it here from the hole to us on a line drive in the air? Or do we anticipate that it's going to be one or two hops to us? The same thing with the third baseman and also with the second baseman. So one, we need to know the situation. We need to know our players. Um, but we always have to anticipate the bad throw itself. So the other thing that we need to know is what in the field in front of us is our reach capabilities. So in this particular case, I know that from, from this position here that I can reach out and, and pick a ball in the air from here, here, and here. Okay, so I know that as I see the flight of the ball coming towards us, that if I think that it's going to be outside of this circle, I'm going to have to pick it. Otherwise, I'll be able to catch the ball in the air. So Jacob, let's come come to the bag, okay? Get ourselves into position. The ball's been hit the shortstop. We know that it's been hit to uh, between the five and six hole, between shortstop and third base. And we're going to anticipate the bad throw. So let's get ourselves in position. Here comes the throw. Okay. Very good. Do it. See it again. Bad throw. Okay. Okay, one of the things that we want to do as we're, as we're receiving the ball on the bad throws is make sure that we keep our eyes on the ball as much as possible and that our gloves are low and coming high and not keeping our gloves high and then trying to scoop it low. So we always want to work from the ground up. Let's work on that again. Here comes the throw. That's it. The other thing that we want to do as a first baseman with a bad throw is make sure that we can get our body in front of the throws as much as possible, okay? So uh, we want to make sure that if we're not able to snatch it, that we, that we at least give ourselves an opportunity of it hitting our body and keeping it in front of us rather than going back behind us to the, to the fence, okay? Let's do it again. That's it. You're not always going to make those throws or catches, so it's really important that we keep the ball in front of us. Okay? And again, if the throw is really bad and it pulls us off the bag, our number one priority is making the catch. A couple more times. Good job, Jacob. One more time. Very good. Again, practice this drill on catching the short hops. You'll give your infielders more confident, confidence in throwing to you. You'll make them a better player. You'll keep your team in the game longer. And you'll be on your way to becoming a very good or to a great first baseman.